Hello and welcome. You're watching News X, and I'm Megha Sharma. The Supreme Court today has come out with a landmark judgment. There were 21 petitioners who were representing the LGBTQA plus community who has wanted and demanded time and again that uh, same-sex marriages, same-sex couples can allow for marriages to be recognized under the Special Marriage Act. Well, the Supreme Court has come out and said that it will not allow, it is not part of its jurisdiction to allow for same-sex couples to be recognized under the Special Marriage Act. However, it has given certain directives to the central government and the state governments and the union territories to take action to allow for the inclusion in the society for the LGBTQA community and for the same-sex couples. Now, what are the big implications of this judgment? Judgment number one, implication number one. Well, the people who belong to the LGBTQA plus community can still go about uh, recognizing their marriage or recognizing their civil union. It's just that their civil union cannot be called marriage and cannot be deemed legal under the Special Marriage Act. Now, this happened right after the abrogation or decriminalization of Article 377. The number two impact of this is that even though you, who are a same-sex couple, go about wanting to get married, you will not be legally authorized to recognize your marriage under the Special Marriage Act. Now, number three, all important aspect to this uh, to this uh, big judgment that has come out is that when it comes to an LGBTQA plus couple, and if they want to go about adopting a child or uh, having a child by surrogation, surrogacy, they will not be able to do so. There are legal implications for it. And if you want to, in fact, in our in our constitution, as per our laws, if an individual or in fact, it's, it's extremely difficult for individuals, male or female, to go about asking for surrogacy rights or go about asking for adoption rights by themselves, only those who are married, by the legal law under the Special Marriage Act or under the All India Mus under under the Muslim Personal Law Board Act or under the Hindu Marriage Act are then allowed to uh, file for adoption and get recognized adoption papers when the process is going on. Now, when it comes to the LGBTQA plus community, uh, same sex couples cannot go and demand, cannot go about adopting children, cannot go about the surrogacy route to adopt children. Now, point number three is about inheritance succession. Now, when it comes to inheritance, for example, uh, in a same-sex marriage or in a same-sex civil union, if one of the partners were to die for some reason, for any reason, the inheritance that is then given to their partner as per the will that has been signed by the deceased cannot really be free of taxes, as is the case when it comes to the family units that are allowed to get the inheritance, get the land, get the property, get the assets of the deceased without having to pay any taxes whatsoever. So a person of the LGBTQA plus community will not be allowed to inherit the property, inherit the assets without paying gift tax or other taxes that are applicable under the law. Now, there is another implication with regards to other issues. Where for example, the, where for example, if you were to, if, if a same-sex couple were to file for divorce, if you were to file for alimony, all these are not possible in the court of law. All these will not be legally binding if uh, two individuals in a same-sex marriage or same-sex civil union were to then go about demanding for divorce or demanding for alimony. Something similar is also the case when it comes to gratuity. It's also the same for uh, getting ration cards. It's also the same for uh, maintenance when it comes to, for example, if there's a divorce and, for example, one of the one of the persons who is on a divorce, who's filing for divorce, may just have to pay maintenance to the other person, to the partner. Now, these are, of course, the disadvantages for being uh, a member of the LGBTQA plus community 
if there is a same sex couple who comes together for a civil union but there are also there is also uh, a ray of hope with the supreme court coming out with its judgment what the supreme court has said is that while it is not in the jurisdiction of the supreme court to meddle with the legislature which is the special marriage act and change this amend this it has however constituted a high power committee that is going to be led by the central government what this high powered committee is going to do is look at all these aspects whether it is adoption whether it is inheritance maintenance getting ration cards uh gratuity talking about adoption and surrogacy all these matters are then going to be taken up point by point by this special committee by this high part committee that is going to be led by the central government to ensure that the lgbtqa plus community the same sex couples do not face the discrimination that they currently are facing what it also means is that the same sex couples the lgbtqa plus community will be allowed to live with dignity have the right to privacy they uh, have the freedom of expression they are also guaranteed uh, right to equality and right to life so these are the key aspects in which on which the supreme court has given these directives to the central government now there have also been several instances that have come in the news there have been films that have been made there are documentaries that have been uh, shot this is with regards to the violence that is perpetuated on the same sex couples on members of the community of the lgbtqa plus because the society is not open to the very concept of having same sex couples of having individuals who like per for people who are of the same gender as they are uh, there are acts of violence there are acts of exclusion there are acts of social stigma that are put up against these people against this community in fact a number of times because of the family not accepting their child there are even sex change operations that are forced upon them what this what the supreme court has told the central government is that under its high powered committee it also form helpline numbers it also put up hotlines this is to help the aggrieved people from the community to reach out for in terms of emergency uh, for for psychological or mental strain or mental abuse that they are facing from the society it could be family it could be your neighbors it could be overarching the, your friends uh, um, uh, your acquaintances and you can dial up that hotline number and there will be service provided to you this is also very important and integral if there could be a case of violence that is registered or faced of or 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 faced by by the lgbtqa community member they can dial up this number and there will be help emergency help in place this has also been setting up of uh, there's also been setting up of these uh, uh dignity homes or uh, safe homes that uh, the supreme court has asked the central government to set up this is to allow for the aggrieved lgbtqa community members to then take safe havens take refuge take shelter in these places in these homes in case of adversity there has also been another action that has been taken by the supreme court where it goes about directing the law and order agencies goes on directing the executive goes on directing the police forces to ensure that there are cases against the lgbtqa community by, for the same sex couples uh, uh, which is going to be in favor of them so that there is no discrimination shown and there are cases of violence against them which at least should be minimized if not completely ended now this comes uh, to my next big question about uh, about the special marriage act and what is the entire definition of marriage and why is it that uh, the lgbtqa community and same sex couples want to be included in the same sex in in into in the special marriage act now uh, the arguments that have been raised is 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 a same sex couple going to be more equipped more capable of loving their spouse or loving their partner if they were included in the special marriage act or uh, 
with all these directives that have been given by the supreme court and when this when the central government with its high powered committee comes up and says that all these rules that had been demanded by the supreme court for the lgbtq community to fight against discrimination for example uh, like i already mentioned abortion and inheritance and succession and ration cards insurance uh, so on and so forth if if all these rights are given to the lgbtq community to to a to a same sex couple would it then be would it then necessitate uh, a same sex couple to demand for special marriage act to recognize their union because uh the argument that has been put out uh is that uh the marriage is uh, a sacred union when it comes to our religions whether it is about the hindu personal law whether it is about the muslim personal law whether it is about the uh, marriage which is held as a, 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 a sanctity it is held as a very sacred uh, union sacred uh, tradition it, whether, the, whether it comes from sikhs or it comes from the jewish community or you talk about buddhism or you talk about any other religion christianity any other religion in the world it is a holy it is a holy union of two people of two souls uh the special marriage act also came about from the uh uh personal laws from uh, the combining of all these laws all these uh, testaments all these sacred vows that are that are taken by uh individuals by couples from all these religions so the idea behind is is that uh, why tinker with the special marriage act or any of the traditional marriage acts uh when there can be an alternative that can be found for uh same sex couples for the lgbtqa community couples so this is a complex matter this is a complicated issue this this topic has been raised time and again in the high court and now in the supreme court as well uh, there could be no easy answers but the point of contention that goes about in the supreme court is that right to marriage is not a fundamental right um right to marriage when it's not a fundamental right is akin is then equates to the demand that has been made by the lgbtqa plus community to have same sex couples to be recognized under the special marriage act null and void because if it's not fundamental it is secondary and with the number of arguments that have been put forth by the central government by the government of india it goes on to show that there has to be sanctity that needs to be ensured when it comes to the special marriage act and therefore does including same sex couples or lgbtq community couples and unions then destroy the sanctity of marriage itself well there is also a big question that now with the central government setting up a powered high powered committee will it then have to tinker with the legislature in the constitution and will there be certain laws that are going to be amended or in fact brought in in fact be be written all over again created all over again and then it becomes a different matter altogether it's a different ball game altogether right now the ball is in the central government's court the decision definitely the supreme court has made it in favor of the central government of the government of india we'll keep a close track on uh, what happens in terms of developments in this very sensitive and topical subject thanks for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon